Hello and welcome to another video where we're going through the basic skills on Snooker 19. We're in the Snooker section and we're on red lights. So with this one, you just have to keep the white in the highlighted area. And you can see I've just aimed the red ball slightly left because if you hit it straight on, it's going to hit the blue, which is over the pocket. So the cheeky devils have left that there so you don't pot it. And I've just added a little bit of tiny bottom on the white. And I mean a fraction, just so the white stops in place and then you don't need a lot of angle on the red to just set it off course so it doesn't pop the blue next one we just need a little bit more bottom uh, on the white i'm not going to change the power at all so it's just a tad more bottom and then we're going to hit it as close to 50 percent as we can i probably could have put a little bit more bottom on that but it was fine in the end and that's the second one. And then this third one, uh, I accidentally moved the power bar here, but you don't need to. 50% uh, will do it. And you just need to put a little bit more bottom on it, but not a lot. You still might think that you'd have to put more on, but just at the top of the circles, touching the, the crosshair really, and that'll do it. And then you hit it at 50% and the white should stay where it is because it's always different because the white's a different distance from the red ball. So you just have to judge it. And that's the challenge mastered. And that's the first one, red lights done. So the next one is stun, screw and run through. So a good tip is to make sure you read the challenge because sometimes they give you a clue as to what to do. And all I, all I did on this one is I just put a little bit of bottom, tiny, tiny bit. I probably could have put a bit more, but I don't change the power or the line. Hit it dead straight. As you can see, the white almost escapes the circle. But uh, you don't need a lot of... Uh, screw back just so you can stun the white in place This next one is a little bit trickier because if you hit it straight the yellow will go in uh, To the pocket I think or, or it won't go on the target So all I do is I aim a left a little bit here So that's all I did and then I put it at 37.1% uh, power and For the screw back I just put maximum screw back so this should put the white nicely into the circle the only thing to watch here is is just where you're aiming it you have to make sure that you aim it just a tiny bit left too far and you won't go in the circle not enough and you'll hit the black um, but here i do hit the black and manage to sort of go in i think it would have gone in if the black wasn't there but sometimes the black acts as a bit of a stopper and this one's really easy you just all you have to do is put plenty of top uh top spin on the cue ball and then play it at about 51 percent and you just hit it it's uh, probably the easiest one once you've uh, worked out how to do it and the cue ball should just go into the circle and the brown should go nicely into the target area and that is this challenge mastered so the next one is tightening the noose so it's all about just feathering off the nearest red and getting into the target area so with this one the trick is to not try and hit it too thin you have to hit it a little bit thicker than thin if that makes any sense i go for about 31.2 percent there's a shot of where i end up aiming so paper thin doesn't work a little bit thicker than paper thin 31.2 and then i manage to just get it into the target area and those bulk colors act as a little bit of a stopper for the white ball and most of them are like this one this one's probably a little thicker than the first one but again don't go for wafer thin thicker than wafer thin but maybe a little bit thicker than the first one as well there's a close-up of where i aim it at and it looks this one's probably the hardest one of the three 15.8 percent and then you just want to get in that gap as soon as you get in that gap you're pretty much golden there's no way that you can not get the white where you want and this one you can afford to hit a little harder you just have to get it between the green and the yellow so again probably about as thick as the first shot not too thin thicker than um thin if it makes any sense and then i go for about 23.5 percent here's a close-up of where i end up aiming aiming it and yeah just take the shot and then the pink should stop the cue ball where it needs to be so that's five stars for tightening the noose okay the next one is glowing eyes in the dark probably one of the easiest ones of this section 
uh, I think for the first two I don't even have to put any position on the white you just it's all about power so 8.6 roughly thereabouts should get you in the first circle as long as you aim it in the right direction of course next one from the blue spot uh, is again the trickiest part is probably just making sure that you're aiming it in the right direction and you want to go for around about 17 percent and then in it goes and then this is probably the hardest one but again I, I, I did this one um, first time pretty much as soon as I knew but you, you have to put a bit of top on this one you can see that I just put a little bit of top 17.2 percent and then it should go in I don't think I even get it clean look there you go it bounces off the side and that's it that is uh, glowing eyes in the dark challenge mastered nice easy one and the last one is called turning the table uh, not too difficult all you have to do is aim as thin as you can on the red ball and then put plenty of top spin on it uh, maximum top spin and then go for 28 I actually hit it at 28.2 so around about 28.5 and then you just flick off it and you have to get into the inner ring of this one because it's one shot it's not too difficult it's just trial and error um, you'll get it eventually pretty sure and then that's this challenge mastered and all of them all the snookers done so the reward is woodlander nice wood cue and the regalia i think that one's called uh yeah and that's the snooker section done if you found this video useful please give it a like because that really really helps me out this youtube channel is all about snooker video games and we got more five star challenges uh, covered as well. If you're struggling with any of the other ones, then uh, be sure to watch those. So thanks for watching.